In this video in our series on creating your .NET Nuke based website, we're going to go in and log in as an administrator. We want to update the title of our website. We also want to update the copyright statement. Now you'll see where the, co the title comes into play. When you look at your browser and you look at either the title bar or the browser tab title, you'll see currently it calls our website my website. Then it has the name of the page that we're on, the home page. Also at the bottom of the page, you'll find the copyright statement. You can see it currently says copyright 2012 by .NET New Corporation. Since we're setting up a website for the Awesome Cycles business, we're going to go ahead and modify that information to fit the Awesome Cycles brand. So we're going to go ahead and log into the website as the administrator account. In a previous video, we showed you how to log in and change the default password of the admin account. Once we're logged into that website, we're going to mouse over the admin menu and click on the site settings option. The site settings page will provide you a list of settings for the website or the portal within .NET Nuke. And it's possible within .NET Nuke to have multiple websites. You want to make sure that you're on the website that you intend to change the information for. So here on the basic settings tab within the site settings, you can find the first option there is our title. And we're just going to call this Awesome Cycles. We could provide additional information within that title if we wished, but we'll just call our business Awesome Cycles for now. After that, we have a description and keywords. These are going to allow us to define a default page description and a default page keyword set for all pages across our website. We'll come back in a different video in the series and talk more about SEO and why you would use the description and keywords. After the keywords option, you're going to find the copyright statement. You'll notice that the copyright setting has copyright. It has a token called year in square brackets and then by .NET New Corporation. So we can simply change this to by Awesome Cycles. If we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom now, now you may or may not see all of the settings that I see here. I've already previously expanded some of the sections here. You can click on those titles to expand or collapse various sections. At the bottom, we want to click on the update option. That will save our site settings. Now, once you've saved the site settings, if we go ahead and navigate back to the home page, we'll see that our browser title now shows Awesome Cycles. When we mouse over our logo, we would also see the Awesome Cycles alt text for the logo. And at the bottom of the page, we'd see the copyright statement for the Awesome Cycles brand. Now, in the next video in our series, we're going to show you how you can go in and update that logo for every page across your website to use the new Awesome Cycles logo.